What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing some spring inspired nails thanks to my nail bestie from work, Trish. Um, but first, have you subscribed to my channel? If not, I don't understand why not because you know these nails are about to be fire. And as usual, everything will be linked down below in the description box. So this is her Instagram page. I will also link it down below. But these are the nails that gave me the inspo for my nails. So I already have on my peel off base coat and as you can see I already have on three of my five nails. I thought I was recording but apparently I wasn't. So I'm using my Sabi Land 4-in-1 um, gel to adhere the nail tips because when I tried to use nail glue it won't work with my peel off base coat. So I knew the gel would work so that's why I'm using my gel and I'm flash curing it with my nail lamp. Uh, since I was trying to use the gel earlier that is also why my thumb is looking very ashy because I had to use acetone and get all of that off um, I'm using my I believe it's infilling long coffin nail tips and now I'm just getting my acrylic supplies ready um, I have been loving these paper towels because they are super absorbent I got these from Walmart they're for like car detailing but these things are amazing i'm using my purple phoenix um low odor monomer my kiara sky no not kiara sky i'm so sorry my mia secret clear acrylic and my sabi land brushes that i got forever ago and they still work so um i have realized that if i do like a really really thin layer of acrylic on my nails i can actually like wear these nail tips and they won't pop off as easily um as you can see i'm also using my magnets to cut down the size the length of my nails to how i want them and it worked super duper well like I was so excited I was so ecstatic I was trying to make it excited and ecstatic with how well this hat worked like this is so gonna be my go-to um so yeah I just clipped all my nails and now I'm going to do my thin layer of my clear acrylic sorry if you hear my dog barking in the background
Okay, so now that I have laid my thin layer of acrylic, I'm now using my cover acrylic so I can ombre. So um, I'm in the middle of editing a reel for YouTube, but I have already uploaded it to my Instagram. But I created a reel. Um, if you have like acrylic that is too chalky and you want to ombre with it, I made a reel to show a little hack of how you can ombre it so um what i did was um the color is actually lotus root from um sabi land but it was too chalky so it was like entirely too pigmented and chalky so what i did was i mixed it with some clear acrylic and now that way i can easily ombre it better than i could before it was mixed with the clear acrylic so like it diluted the chalkiness of it so um yeah now i'm just ombreing my lotus root sabi land acrylic that's mixed with my mid secret crystal clear acrylic at the nail bed area and then i'm going to use a custom acrylic that i made some time ago i have no idea when i made this custom acrylic but i will use that to blend the ombre at the tip By the way, do y'all see how absorbent these paper towels are? Like they're, I think they're not detailing, not detailing paper towels. I think they're mechanic paper towels because they're in like the detailing and automotive section or whatever at Walmart. So get you some of these because when I tell you this bad boy soaks up some monomer like nobody's business, yes, it soaks it up. So literally all I have to use is like, Two. That's all, and I'm good. All right, now that I'm done with the nail bed area, it's time to get into the nail tips. So I'm using this custom acrylic that I made. I don't even know when the heck I made it. I've been on a spree of making my own custom acrylics. So it is um, some yellow pigment powder with some yellow glitter in it. Nothing too difficult. And I used my Mia Secret Clear acrylic powder to make this acrylic powder, well, make this color. And I will use my butterflies. Um, I believe I got these from, Am yeah, these I got from Amazon. And I'm just using my silicone tool and I'm just placing the butterflies. At one point, I tried to be fancy and use like a, a sandwich bag to like make them flat but it didn't work the way I wanted it to so I kind of like just scrapped that footage but yeah so on my nail tips that's what all my nail tips are going to be this yellow custom acrylic color and then I will place some random butterflies on the tips and just kind of like scatter them And this whole entire time, I forgot to say that the colors on these nails are not 
meant for structural purposes they're literally just meant for the design i will go back and encapsulate everything with my mia secret clear acrylic and i will use that for structure so i will build my apex with the encapsulation process the the color is literally just for the color that's all Now that I have finished laying the color, now I'm going to encapsulate everything and add structure to the nail by using my Mean Secret Clear Acrylic. So I have no idea what was going on with this bead. Like, I don't know what the heck I did, but apparently I did not lay that bead all that well. And then I had acrylic in my brush. It, the struggle was real on that part, but I mean, I made it through.
Alrighty, now that all five nails have been encapsulated and this is what they look like. This is before fouling, shaping, and buffing. And this is after foul, shaping, and buffing. Yes, my nails look crusty, dusty, and busted. But we're going to use my Lavender Violets gel top coat and I will top coat all five of my nails. And oh, look at that sparkle come back to life. Y'all know I love me some glitter. And uh, the glitter just be glittering. <laughs> But now I'm about to zoom in so you can see this glitter glitter. And then I will um, cure my nails in my LED UV light for 60 seconds. And then it will be reveal time. Alrighty, my nails are finally going in the lamp for the 60 seconds and this is what they look like fresh out of the lamp. I'm touching my nails because I couldn't remember if this gel polish had a sticky layer or not. But since it doesn't have a sticky layer, you know what time it is. It's cuticle oil time because my nails are looking crusty, dusty, busted, and dry, honey. Like, oh, drier than the Sahara. But look at how that cuticle oil brought my nails back to life. Oh, I love these nails. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and join the family. You can follow me on IG at unique underscore nails and TikTok at unique underscore designs. Until next time, bye.